Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Space Quest 2, Vohal's Revenge. All right, so there's another way to take care of the uh, um, uh, the creature, and it's probably a way that will get me more points. So let's go ahead and blow whistle, and... All right. A good idea, but not just yet. You chuck the Cubic's Rube puzzle over to the beast. The beast appears interested in your offering. Curiosity gets the better of him as he reaches down for it. He seems quite perplexed by the puzzling plastic polyhedron. I'm not sure that it is a polyhedron. Don't mind me, sir. Oh, yeah, he is uh, completely immersed in it. Look, beast. Boy, he certainly seems interested in that puzzle. Uh, look, rocks. The rocks in this region are all gray and fairly rounded. There appears to be nothing of interest about them. Look, rubble. Okay. Take, rock. You pick up a small rock generated during the Terror Beast's grand entrance. There we go. Got our points. Alrighty, let's go ahead and save again. Wait for that guy to uh, complete his uh, movement. Don't mind me, I'm not here. Monkey boy. Okay. That was a... Not as long as I thought it was going to be. Nope, not here. Well, let's see. Throw rock at guard. You throw the rock in the direction of the guard. Unfortunately, it falls well short of its target. The guard responds by firing in the direction he thought it came from. Doesn't that bite? The guard caught a glimpse when he chucked when you chucked the rock, and with impressive accuracy, wasted you. Okay. Nope. All right. Too far. So I can get about right here. All right, let's go ahead and save it again. You send the stone flying into the bushes. You hear it land. And now I have no rock. Oh. Thought you could hit that guy. I'm not sure what the heck I was uh, caught on there, but he has wandered off. That works for me. As soon as the elevator door closes behind you, the platform on which you r you rest begins to rise. Fantastic. We have a shuttlecraft. Let's see, look. You're on a landing platform. A shuttle sits quietly nearby. You see lush growth all around. Okay. Whee! Oh! After surviving to this point, you are still prone to acts typically of, typical of the mentally absent. Alright. Open shuttle. Open the pod bay doors, Hal. You recall from when you landed, the entry hatch being on the rear left of the shuttle. You'll have to move a little. Alright, how about up here? Uh, 
It's not helping game. Hmm. I'm definitely on the right now. Huh. Push button. Look, shuttle. Looks like the shuttle that brought you here. All right. Open door. Rear left of the shuttle itself, not the screen. Okay. Ah, you open the hatch and get in. Thank you. Look around. There we go. You are inside a shuttle cockpit. There is an instrument panel before you. Between your legs is a throttle. You can see the local treetops. Uh, look, console. Everything looks automatic. The panel is loaded with clusters of system status indicators. There is a power button, an attitude dial, and an ascent thruster button. Well, what's the worst that could happen here, right? Uh, push, power, button. Beep! Nice. Alright, look, console. Uh, attitude dial and ascent thruster button. Push, thruster, button. The shuttle begins to vibrate as the ascent thrusters ignite. Okay. Uh, push attitude button. Oh, there is no horizontal control unit until minimum altitude has been achieved. Ah, okay. Uh, look console again. Uh, attitude dial. Turn attitude dial. The attitude dial is now set to VAC. Whee! Let's see. Ascent thruster is ready. Attitude system. Vertical control. Forward descend. Back ascend. Because you are terminally weak above the shoulders, you guide the ship into the ground. Thanks for playing. You've been very entertaining. I was hoping for a little bit more of an interesting uh, death than that. Alright. Push power button. Push uh, thruster button. And turn attitude dial. There we go. And up we go. Yeah, let's keep going. Let's get up into space. Let's, uh, let's take another quick save. Do, 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 do. Well, some nice clouds out here. We're still going up, apparently. 
You're off the planet. Good work, all. It was it was automatic. A tone sounds. A soft synthesized voice notes that adequate altitude has been achieved. Ascent thrusters are now ineffective. The monitor draws your attention again. Uh, let's see. Minimum altitude achieved. Altitude attitude system. Vertical control. Um, vertical controls are now ineffective. Okay. Look. Console. Uh, ascent thruster. Alright. Push. Thruster button. Ascent is already in progress. Huh. Alright. Um. Uh, the screens are suddenly splashed with an incredible. with the incredibly horrible image of Sludge Vohal. Hello, Wald. I've been waiting for you. Once again, my subordinates have failed me. Anyway, it looks like you'll be visiting me again soon. Don't bother trying to pilot a vehicle. Well, that's fine, because uh, I couldn't figure out how to pilot it anyway. Mm. Well, that's good. That's, I, I, I planned for that. I have taken control. You will be arriving at my command post shortly. I anxiously await your arrival. He closes with a chilling laugh. <laughs> His image is frozen on the screens. The ship changes course as if it had a life of its own. You know, or maybe it's controlled by someone else. All you can do is hang on. Well. As Volhall stated, nothing works. Push power button. Not now. Aww. Eh. Eh. You feel the ship bank. Oh, God. No, stop it. Ow. Oh, great. We're going over there, aren't we? Don't leave me be. Through the window, you see your apparent destination. Vohal's asteroid. Ah, uh, can't crash it? No. No, oh, I don't want to go in there again. The massive bay doors meet, jarring the entire vehicle bay. Open the pod bay doors, Hal. As you step down, the shuttle door slams shut behind you. You're quite surprised not to find several of Vohal's guards waiting to greet you. You begin to ponder what the twisted scientist might have in store for you. Well, I think we'll find out uh, after we take a save. Whee! Eh, it's a short step to the end of the game for you. You're no Buddy Ebsen. Alright, let's try this again. Alright, well, we've got three ways to go. Let's go this way, just because. Uh, look around. You are in a small capsule-shaped enclosure. Above the door is a digital readout, which reads Level 1. The only other feature is a rectangular panel. Look. Panel. The panel has a vertical row of four buttons. There is some small engraving at the bottom edge of the panel. Look. Engraving. That does not seem to be in your sight now. All right. Push button. You don't have to provide more information than that. Look panel. Read panel. The engraving reads Bobco Lift Division, a subsidiary of Bobco Incorporated, universally famous makers of NADS hamster tape. NADS hamster tape, huh? If that's the trip, we've got the grip. Great. Look. Buttons. The buttons look ordinary. Each button has a word next to it. In order, they are 1, 3, 4, and 5. Okay. Push. 5. Level 1. Level 3. Where's level 2? Level 4. 
Ding! Ladies lingerie. You have the funny feeling you're being watched. Look, camera. There is a surveillance camera mounted on the ceiling. It looks to be quite basic. It appears to be pointing right at you. Well, I'm not too worried about that. Yeah, look at my butt. It's a nice butt. No breakthroughs in interior design to report. It's just one of the many tube-like sections of this custom asteroid. Uh, look, wall... All surfaces seem to be composed of prefabricated synthetic panels, which have been secured to the sides of the bored-out tube. Hmm. Okay. No doors there? Huh. What is that on those bars? The hallways on this level are the same as above, with the exception of some type of cages, and occasional strange noises heard. The smell here is stifling. Apparently, the holding cells are not well kept. There's a door on the side wall. Look in cage. You can't see much, but can hear something stirring in the darkness. Oh, let's take a look at this one. Oof! Oh! Ouch! You feel alarmingly dense! Apparently, you were a prime focal point for some aggression channeling, uh, some aggression channeling by one of the caged creatures. Your compressed compo composition indicates that your attacker possesses in uh, considerable strength. A good guy to avoid in the future. Uh, of course, you are damaged beyond repair, and the game must end. You've made quite a bit of progress, though. Don't start screwing up now. Okay. Push the button, Frank. Ooh, what do we have in there? Aha! You know a janitorial closet when you smell one. Almost at once you sense an emptiness, a melancholy longing. You begin to feel homesick. Look in closet. It's quite dark in here. There is a small wastebasket. On the floor next to it is a pair of crusty work overalls. Uh, look in basket. That would be easier to do if you had it. Take basket. Okay. Aren't you amazed by how much stuff an adventure game hero can carry? You've just got to know how to pack. Uh, take overalls. You pick up the overalls. They are very small and quite worn out, not to mention filthy, and of no use to you. You toss them back on the floor. As you set them down, something falls to the floor. Look, floor. You see some filthy overalls and a lighter. Oh, take lighter. Felix lighter? All right, look, lighter. The sick lighter is almost empty. Ah, oh, well, that's too bad. Uh, look, basket. This is an empty waste basket. Is it really empty, though? It is empty. Okay. All right. Well, let's go ahead and take a quick save. Let's see if we uh, are all the way down here, if we can avoid that guy. Yes, we can. Uh-oh. Oh, no! One of the cells is opening! Who knows what unspeakable horror waits behind those steel bars? Run away! Uh, what, what's the worst that could happen? Oh! Oh, God! No! Oh, yuck! The dark and spiny beast with massive red lips grabs you up, and after a longing glance proceeds... Don't read further if, you, if the phrase French kiss bothers you. To plant a very moist French kiss on you. You are left quite stunned. No, oh, well, that actually wasn't so bad. All right, let's stay down here. I see you, camera. I got my eye on you. Uh, push button four. There we go. 
Ding, Lady Zangerie. Wait, wasn't that just the upper level? Uh, there's a lot of Lady Zangerie around here. Well, it's a good thing that, uh, um, evil nasty alien xenomorph was, uh, perfectly fine. Oh, God! It looks like you have been formally introduced to the floor waxer. You now consist of a very thin, yet glossy floor covering. Too bad. You seem to be making relatively good progress. Alright, well, when we come back next time, we do have the, uh, the lighter and the wastebasket. Yes, we do. When we come back next time, we will, uh... See what we can do about, uh, um... Ending Vohal's plans here. See you next time, everyone.